it was my birthday a little over a week ago. I turned 21. Good times. Moving on. The first book I have is Descent by Tim Johnston. I saw this book and just, I needed it because it says it's a riveting literary thriller of the can't stop turning the page stay up all night variety. Those are my books. Page turners where I have to keep reading and I can't stop because they're so good. That is the book that I will always want and need. And this is that book. Uh, from what I know, it's about a family whose daughter just graduates, I think from high school and is about to go to college so for a last family vacation kind of thing for fun they go to the Rocky Mountains and somehow their daughter disappears or something and that's all I know. I think this book just came out not too long ago but I'm super excited and if you've read it let me know. Next I have Lynch Way by Ari Burke. This is the third book in the Undertaken trilogy and I just read the second book finally and it was so so good. I'll talk about that in my wrap up so look forward to that but this is the third book and I can't wait to read it because this is quickly becoming one of my favorite ghost trilogies ever. I haven't really read ghost trilogies but just ghost books in general it's just it's so writing is so beautiful. His storytelling is amazing and I just I can't wait for the last book. The next book I have is The Mechanical by Ian Tregulis. That's probably wrong. Probably butchered that. I apologize. Don't really know much about this book at all. I got it because the blurb on the back is super short but it's super engrossing and intriguing and I'm gonna read it to you right now. My name is Jax. That is the name granted to me by I am a human masters. I am a slave, but I shall be free. That sounds so cool. Also, because it's blurbed by George R. R. Martin, who said a major new talent, and George R. R. Martin, Game of Thrones. If he really likes it, well, I, I think I'll like it. Hopefully. Undivided by Neil Shusterman. This is the last book in the Unwind Distology. I have grown to love this series so much, but uh, the third book, regrettably, was not my favorite, so I'm hoping the fourth book really takes a turn for the better, hopefully. And I also really love Neil Shusterman. He's such a good writer, and yeah. <laughs> the next book I have is The Last Flight of Poxel West by Daniel Torday. I don't know much about this book. I picked it up because it, it sounded intriguing and also because I really like the cover. Uh, yeah. But from what I do know, it's about a boy named Eli and he really admires this um, person named Poxel West. He was a pilot and he was known as a hero for all the things he did and he just has such a heroic history. So because Eli really looks up to this person so much, he delves into this person's past and finds out that things aren't as he thought they were and that maybe his hero isn't as heroic as he thought he was. The next book I have is We All Looked Up by Tommy Wallach. This book is a pre-apocalyptic novel taken from the point of view of a group of teenagers who are told that in two months an asteroid is going to hit Earth and they're all gonna die. So they pretty much decide to leave all their high school labels behind and what I mean by that is that you know they're seen as the the athlete, the overachiever, the slacker, all of those labels and they really they really feel that they need to let that go and just be something that they haven't been before because they're gonna die in two months so they kind of just want to live to I guess the extreme that they can in that amount of time. Also I really liked this cover it's just so simple and so beautiful I don't know if you could tell but that's the asteroid up there and these are the teenagers just down below as they look up. The title's called We All Looked Up. It's very it's very nice. I can't wait to read it. Next I have Cat's Cradle by Kurt Vonnegut. This book I cannot wait to read. I also know nothing about this book. Nothing in the slightest. I haven't even read the back because I don't really care. I just want to jump into this book not knowing anything. I read Slaughterhouse Five by Kurt Vonnegut. That was one of my favorite books last year, I believe, or the year before. Last year, I think. And so I just, I have to read more of his books because he's freaking amazing with his writings. The next book I have is a classic of the extreme proportions, and that is Moby Dick or The Whale by Herman Melville. And uh, this book is freaking huge. Um, and I am terrified to read it but I also have been wanting to read this book for so long because it's just it's everyone knows 
about this and I just I want to read the book I want to know what's amazing about it because I hear such incredible things so I just I need to know I need to know and I need to read it also this book has deckled edges which always makes me happy I don't know why Mr. Penumbro's 24-hour bookstore by Robin Sloan I don't really know anything about this book but I have seen this book all over booktube for so long everyone seems to love it and I just I really want to read it I love reading books that talk about books in themselves so that's always really fun also this cover is gorgeous because it's beautiful and I just I can't wait to read it I want to see what's so great about it I want to see why everyone loves it the last book I have is probably the book that I'm most excited to read because I've been wanting to read this author for so long and I have been terrified to start because I don't know where to start that's that's the issue I didn't know where to start and I still don't know where to start but I was just like F it I'm just gonna grab this book and we're gonna start here and that is Oliver Twist by Charles Dickens I have been wanting to read his work for so long I am so greatly intimidated to start reading them because I don't know if I'll be able to appreciate it enough or just whatever but I'm gonna give it a go anyway and I can't wait to read it so I pretty much bought this because the edition was too beautiful to pass up as we can see so I can't wait to read this um, and once I read that hopefully I'll buy more of Charles Dickens work and then I could immerse myself in all of that. And those are all the books I got for my birthday. I can't wait to read all of these. I know I'm not going to get to them soon because I kind of have so many other books on my TBR, but nonetheless, I'm super excited. And if you have read any of these books, leave a comment below. If you haven't, leave a comment below. I don't care. Uh, just whatever. I don't. Yeah, I'm going to go now and read or have a cup of tea.